So this question is talking about the probability of detecting a crack in the aeroplane wing. And they say that's a product of these three probabilities. Um, so the first one is the probability of inspecting a plane with a wing crack. The second is the probability of inspecting the right location of the wing. And the third is the probability of actually detecting the damage. Now, the first question asks us, what assumptions justify the multiplication of these probabilities? So if we let this first event, the event of inspecting a plane with wing crack, be event A, and we'll say that this one inspecting at the right location is event B, and this one of actually detecting the damage will be event C, then it says that the probability of detecting a crack, which is all of these things, so the probability of A and B and C, is actually just the product of these probabilities. So it's equal to these products here. So um, if you have a look, this rule here implies that these three events, A, B, and C, uh, must be independent. Now, part B of this question gives us values for P1, P2, P3. So we can work out the probability of observing the crack in the wing to so just be that product of 0.9 times 0.8 times by 0.5, which comes out to be uh, 0 0.36. Now, the question says that we're inspecting three aeroplanes and we want to know the probability that we'll detect a crack on at least one of them. So first of all, let's say let X um, be the random variable um, of the number of planes um, which have a wing crack detected. Okay, so if X is counting the number of these planes that do have a wing crack, then X is binomially distributed, where the number of planes we're looking at is three, and the probability of having that crack is 0 0.36. So um, since it's binomially distributed, the probability of x being any particular value, this little x, is just the choose function, n choose x, times by that probability p to the x and 1 minus p to the n take x. And in this case, we have that n is 3 and p is 0 0.36. So what we want is the probability that at least one of them has a crack. So we want the probability that x is greater than or equal to one, which can just be written as the sum of these probabilities, x equals one plus probability x equals two plus the probability that x equals three. Now that's fine, but it's a bit of a pain to calculate all of those. So another way we can write this is this is equal to one minus the probability that X is less than one, or which is the same thing as one minus the probability that X is zero. 
because if we have that at least one of them has a crack, then we're saying that we need the probability that it's absolutely not zero of them that have a crack or one minus the probability that there is zero that have cracks. So I'm going to just delete this and we can keep working on the problem. So to calculate this, we're looking at the probability x is greater than or equal to one. This is like we said before, one minus the probability that x is zero. And that is equal to one minus three choose zero times by 0 0.36 to the zero and uh, one minus 0 0.36 to the three minus zero. All right, easy, that's just one minus, now three choose zero is one, uh, 0.36 to the power of zero is also one. And so that here is just 0 0.64 cubed. Now if we work this out, this is approximately equal to 0 0.74.